what's up you guys welcome back to my channel I just got back from brunch which is why I have a full face of makeup on and I had to immediately turn on the AC because it is a hot New York City day so hopefully that sounds not bothering you too much but I wanted just to come on here and start vlogging because it is the weekend and I'm ready to do some more stuff in the apartment so actually let me go ahead and change out of these clothes and get into something more comfy and then I'll be right back all right that feels so much better um, you guys know how much I love this shirt. It's from H&M and it is the perfect thing to throw on whenever I want to feel cozy. So for today, um, as you can see, I've been playing around with my artwork. I used to have this in the entryway on top of that dresser that I have, but I felt like to really tie in this space, like my dining nook is what I'm calling it, even though it's not really a nook. I wanted to add some artwork and I think that would just help to ground this as its own separate space apart from the living room. So I put this here just to kind of see how it would look, and I do like it. The only thing is the black frame is kind of throwing me off. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm thinking of either painting this frame or just hanging it as is. I did like the black frame when I originally got the artwork, but I think because the table's white and the chairs are like this nice beigey taupe color, I just, I'm not sure if it goes. But I also think it could be a nice little accent and could maybe add some dimension to the area. So we'll see, I'm thinking about that. Also, now that I don't have that framed art print over here, I'm thinking something on this wall might be nice. I've been eyeing this irregular shaped mirror from Zara. I'll pop a picture of it right here, but I think it'll be cute to kind of go in this little space. This phone is actually kind of bothering me now because it's in the middle of the space that I wanna decorate. So ideally I could put something that goes across, but because it's hanging on the wall there, I would have to just figure out something there. I also do not love this breaker box. It's really huge. It's like one of the biggest ones I've ever seen in an apartment. And even that art print that I had here before did not cover it. So <laughs> that's something I'm also thinking about whether to just leave it as is or to cover that. But first up, I kind of want to put something here. So I might order that Zara mirror today. I've got to think on it a little bit more. But right now I want to focus my attention on the bedroom. I said in my last video that this was probably the most neglected room and you can really tell. I didn't even bother making my bed this morning because I honestly just spend most of my time in the living room since it's more decorated, it feels more homey. But that all changes today. I just got in a very exciting package from Brooklinen. So a huge thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I cannot wait to unbox this with you guys, so let's get into it right now. Oh my goodness. This is literally like the highlight of my day. Let's see what goodies we have. Aw, they included a nice tote. Look how cute. Okay, so I ended up getting the Hardcore Luxe Bundle, and I'm so excited. It came with pillowcases, a nice sheet set, and then also a duvet cover underneath. I got the pillowcases and sheet set in the cream shade, which is so nice. And then I love just a white duvet cover. It kind of gives me that hotel feel, so I'm really excited. Let's open these up, and I'm going to throw them in the wash. While I wait for that to wash, I'm gonna go ahead and have a little snack. I bought these Fuji apples the other day and they're honestly the only kind of apples I eat now because they're so good. Let's cut this up and we're gonna have it with some peanut butter.
morning you guys i have just had such a good night's sleep i feel like on weekends i tend to sleep until like 11 or even 12 sometimes because i'm just so groggy and i usually have to wake up really early on weekdays but today it's like 8 30 right now and i'm up and at them ready to get started with my day yesterday when i was putting on my new sheets i could just feel that the quality was there and i have not really invested in good quality sheets ever pretty much and that's pretty insane because i'm a fully grown adult and sleep is important and as i was putting these sheets on i could just tell that the quality was there what i love about brooklinen is that they offer you that good quality without the luxury markup you know i'm also going to give you the hookup so you can use the code kirsten at checkout for 20 dollars off your purchase of 100 dollars or more i went with the lux hardcore bundle and if you purchase it in the bundle you get an additional 25 percent off so i highly recommend and it comes with so many different pieces. Like I said, I got the duvet cover, the sheets, and four different pillowcases, and you really just can't beat the price. I also love that I got to mix and match my colors. I love a good white duvet cover, but I wanted to kind of spruce up the bedding with some color, and that cream just added the touch that it needed. And it also matches so well with my headboard, so I love that. You can choose from over 20 colors and patterns on their website, so definitely be sure to check out Brooklinen if you're looking to elevate your bedding. All right, now we gotta make this bed so that I can go ahead and move forward with the rest of my day. absolutely love the way everything turned out doesn't that bed just look so cozy oh my gosh it's so good the textures the colors i love everything about it next i think i want to move these plants to my bedroom since the living room already has so much going on i think this will add a nice touch of greenery in there but first i'm going to repot this cactus into my west elm planter here so let's go ahead and do that Okay, I think that looks so cute and it matches pretty well with my blanket. Everything is coming together. I just spent the rest of my morning cleaning up. I finished with the bathroom just now, still have the mop out, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower now because I kind of wanna head to H&M home today and see what goodies they have. We are in Midtown. I just did some shopping at Zara and I actually just met a subscriber. He bought my painting the one that I was selling from my old apartment and he also brought me Starbucks it was so sweet I really should have vlogged it I didn't think about it in the moment but shout out to you Jameer I hope I'm pronouncing that right all right now let's head to H&M home it's just like me to spill my matcha on my white pants how lovely <laughs> I've just gotten back home and I figured we'd do a little mini haul of the things that I got at H&M home. I really only went in there for one thing, but of course I had to pick up a few more once I saw what was in. So first things first, I got this soap dish. This is what I actually went in there for. I just needed something to hold my soap. And I really like this one because number one, it matches with a mug and plate set that I already have in my kitchen. And then it also was like one of the most affordable ones that I could find. This one was $6.99, so I think it's really well priced. And then also for my bathroom, I ended up picking up this set of towels. It comes in a two pack and I really just liked this color. It also has this nice little holder if you like to hang your towels that way, but I'll probably put these on my towel rack in my bathroom. So I got that and then the last item is this little marble cake stand. It is so freaking cute. 
I don't know if you guys can tell how small it is on camera. Actually, I have a full-size cake stand already. So let me go get that so I can show you a little size comparison. And here it is. This one I got at Target. It's part of the Threshold Design with Studio McGee collection. And this is like a full-size cake stand. And you can see just how baby this one is compared to the big one. Uh, this turned out to be $34.99, which I think is pretty pricey for the size. But this is very heavy. It's like really good quality and i love the marble effect that it has so this i plan on using for like cupcakes i think will be nice or um, maybe even to put fancy drinks on and like serve them that way the other thing i was thinking about is that this could be used just to place decor on and you can just kind of put this on like a dresser or on a nightstand and it could look really cute that way so this has many different uses and I just really liked it, had to pick it up. I also did go to Zara, but I'm thinking I might make a separate video on that because, you know, I like to do my little hauls and I got a lot of good pieces in for summer. So let me know in the comments if you want to see that and I'll definitely be sure to film it for you. I haven't yet filmed a clothing haul in this new place, so that'll be interesting. But if you want to see it, I'm happy to do that. I've placed the towels in the bathroom and I think they go really well with this artwork that I've put up. So I think I'm going to keep them like that. I tried folding them, but they were looking a little strange, so I've just kept them unfolded for now. We'll see if I change my mind about that. And then over in my shower, I have my little soap holder, so that's perfect there. Goes really well with the rest of the bathroom decor, so I'm also happy with that. Hello, hello. I just got back home from work not too long ago, and I'm ready to get started on some more home improvement projects. So of course, I'm gonna film it for you, and hopefully this turns out well. <laughs> question mark so i'm getting back to that dresser diy that i never finished to my mom's balcony so that i could stain them before i do any updates let's go ahead and just roll those clips right now okay hey i am at my mom's house she has a balcony so luckily i was able to use this to finish up that diy dresser project that i wanted to do i am having mixed feelings about this dresser it looks very bulky and just for my personal like storage space i need something that's a little taller maybe one of those five drawer dressers to fit more stuff so i'm not sure that i'm gonna keep it but i am gonna finish the project that way it looks nice when i want to sell it so yeah we'll see how it all goes i'm hoping today goes better than the last time as you can see i'm working in an outdoor space and I have my bases covered with this little film. So yeah, let's get to work. back to real time and I went to pick up these pieces from my mom's job yesterday and the stain came out pretty nice. I wanted to leave them there for two weeks just so that they had plenty of time to dry and so that I wouldn't be breathing in those toxic fumes but now they're all completely dried. Unfortunately I realized afterwards that I had only brought 11 pieces. I didn't know where the 12th one was and I recently found it so now i have one piece that's completely a different color than the rest but that's okay i'm not gonna worry about it right now i'm just gonna do the dresser without this piece and then figure it out later i can always go back to my mom's and you know stain it but for now i'm just gonna start on with the rest i've got my liquid nails this stuff is meant to pretty much bond anything and make it feel as strong as nails hence the name liquid nails but i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this and just apply this on the dresser fronts and then basically glue them on because it should just kind of stick like that. We'll see how this goes.
guys ready to see the finished dresser project? <sighs> Ta-da! <laughs> there she is! What do you think? It looks like this fluted wood piece. It's actually a dupe for the West Elm Quinn dresser. And I have to give credit where credit is due. I was inspired to do this project by Sabrina Latoya on YouTube. She's honestly one of my favorite YouTubers. I never miss one of her videos, so definitely check her out if you're looking for some more home inspiration. She is incredible. But what do you guys think of the dresser? I'm kind of digging it. I like that it adds that extra wooden element to the room because right now it doesn't have much of that. Everything around here is just kind of light. So this adds another color, some new texture, and I'm really kind of liking it. I think this completes the dresser project, the long awaited dresser <laughs> reveal. It's been so many weeks at this point, but I'm okay with that. It looks really good. The only thing is, you guys, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but this is the problem with buying things just really quickly before you're settled into your space is that I think I actually need more dresser space. So I think I'm gonna need a dresser that's taller, one of those like five drawer ones. So I probably won't be keeping this forever, but for right now, this is the perfect solution. And then I can go ahead and sell it if I need to once I get my new dresser. So yeah, that's the little dresser update. And now that the dresser is finally complete, we can go ahead and play around with some decor on top. I really think that'll finish up this look, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some pieces just to style it up a bit. And here's what I've come up with. Of course, nothing is finalized. I just wanted to play around with some pieces that I already had. I really like how this plays on the like pink tones that I have around the room. For example, I have this little pink candle on my nightstand. And then with the plant pots that I added by the window, I have more terracotta and pink colors there. It also kind of tones it down a little bit because the dresser is pretty bold. So I think this adds a more feminine, delicate touch to it. I'm gonna see how this feels as I live with it, but for now, it does the trick. Now that that's done, I've just sat down to have some dinner. I picked up some sweet green on the way home and this is good. I usually always get the same thing, the harvest bowl, but this time I got the hot honey chicken plate and it's already so filling. I added apples to it, which is like one of the best things about the Harvest Bowl. I definitely recommend giving it a try. I just was not in the mood to cook tonight. It's always hard on a Monday, especially after just finishing that project. So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this and then I'll come right back. So a few things just arrived that I've been waiting for. So let's go ahead and unbox these. Okay, from Ikea, I got these little cubes, organizing cubes. They're called the Drona cubes. I got two of them. I already have some of them in my closet and I just needed some more to do some organizing. I can finally start unpacking that big box that's in my room and just fitting some of the things into these little cubes. So I'm really excited about that. Oh my goodness, Ikea, all this for this French press. I bought this to kind of froth some milk and make cold foam for my matcha. I'm really excited to use this. Hopefully it's a good one. It was cheap, so I figured I'd just get this one if I'm gonna test anything out. And it's called the Ufetta, a feta, I'm not sure. Anyway, those are the only things that I got from Ikea. Let's open this box from Target. Goodness. I got a faux tree. Okay. In my last apartment, I used to keep my faux olive tree in my living room space, but for this apartment, I kind of liked how it looked in the bedroom, but I did feel like I was missing some greenery, and when I say greenery, I obviously mean fake plants. So I bought this tree to kind of fit into this corner, and I think it'll look good, especially with this lamp next to it. And we're gonna try it out together. This is all trial and error. I really love this. The plant is so cute. I love how like wispy it is. It's very light and I just kind of fluffed it out a bit and spread the leaves slightly and it looks so nice with the lamp. I like the kind of height difference that it has. Originally I was going to get like a plant stand to lift it up because I felt like it was going to be a little short, but I really like the height difference. The only thing is I don't like that pot that it came with, so I am going to get a different pot for it, but I don't have that yet. Of course, I'm going to deal with all these wires and stuff, and I am going to move the TV stand over slightly 
just because this is a big space over here and it's currently not centered to my coffee table so when i move it over slightly it'll just kind of fill in that gap here and everything will look really nice love this little corner now happy tuesday you guys we are on our way to pick up another facebook marketplace find i'm getting a little plant pot for my new tree and i found the perfect one for pretty reasonably priced i'll show it to you all dressed up when i get home all right so we have the planter i managed to get it home on the train it does have some weight to it but the person who sold it to me just completely left their dirt inside and did not clean it out so i'm gonna go ahead and do that first and then we'll place the faux tree inside i hope it all looks good i really wanted something more cool tone so this is kind of the perfect addition to that little area and hopefully it looks as good as i'm hoping and it fits i did take the measurements down so it should fit yay it is such a perfect fit I do want to get some like green moss or something to put over the top just to cover the other plant pot and I think that'll also help to make it feel more real and like it's alive. So I'll probably order some tonight. And with that I'll go ahead and close out this video. Every week has brought something new and exciting so I couldn't be more happy to share this all with you. And here's your reminder to go check out Brooklinen. I've been sleeping like a baby all week and I've got that discount code linked below for you. So thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Bye.